right guys, five tips to keep you from missing meals. Number one is plan ahead. Planning ahead makes all the difference in the world. It's not the easiest thing to do, but it's certainly the most effective. If you don't know what you're doing the next day, where you're gonna be, it's impossible, nearly impossible, to stick to a meal plan. You need to think ahead. It's best if you can prepare your meals in advance, especially if you're a competitor and you're eating pre-prepared foods, then by all means, you need to be prepared before you leave the house that day. Um, if you're not a competitor, at least know where you're gonna be and when so that you can make arrangements. If you know you're gonna eat lunch, uh, for instance, for a business meeting, you know, make sure that you've got you know, your snack before or your snack after. Just know what you're gonna be doing the next day or for a weekend if you're traveling and plan ahead. So you can't, it's hard to be successful if you don't plan ahead. Number two, keep a stash. The stash is super important because it will save you more times than you realize. Uh, I keep a stash, actually I keep multiple stashes. I've got an office stash, I've got a truck stash, I've got wife's car stash, and then of course at home, you know, you, you've got everything you need. But what I mean by a stash, so things that obviously don't uh, go rancid if you leave them somewhere for a long period of time. Um, I love protein sample packs. I've got protein sample packs stuck all over the place in backpacks that I travel with, in the office like I mentioned, in my truck. Um, also uh, pre-packaged uh, nuts are great for a stash, that way you can do a protein and fats super easy. So uh, tuna packets are really good if you if you don't want to do too many powders. So that's one of my favorite stash uh, items. I don't tend to do a lot of protein bars, but if you like protein bars or that's something that fits well into your diet, you can stash protein bars. I think those things you could take to space and back and they wouldn't go bad. So the key is things that don't go bad um, that you can easily put in places because you're gonna get, your life is crazy as much as you try to plan ahead, you have to have a plan B in place, so stashes are great. Number three, learn how to be resourceful. If you've planned ahead and you had to get to the stash but the stash was empty, the next next step down the line is learn how to be resourceful. This involves, you know, a lot of times I, I find myself being out longer than I expected, no access to a restaurant, I don't want to just go hungry, um, so eating out of a gas station is kind of my best example of how to be resourceful. Um, and navigating a gas station snacks is not the easiest thing because a lot of things that look healthy or have great marketing on the label as being healthy are actually you know no different than the candy bar that they're sitting next to. What are those traps that I'm talking about? Sports drinks. Sports drinks, unless you're performing an endurance event, really not that healthy. Super full of sugar. They're meant to replenish glycogen after endurance or sports events. Chances are you didn't run to the gas station, so stay away from the sports drinks. Um, the uh, trail mix bars, also super high in fat and sugar. Some of them brag about six grams of protein. That's not very much, and it's crappy protein at that. Stay out of those. They look healthy, not that healthy. Um, best bet, what I like at gas stations, if I'm stuck on the road, the stash is empty, is beef jerky. Sometimes if I want uh, a more balanced, almost like a meal, I'll do beef jerky and fruit. Now sometimes the fruit can be suspect because not many people eat fruit at the gas station, but if it looks okay, you can often score a banana or an apple with some beef jerky. It makes for a nice little meal. Be careful with the protein shakes too. Um, I know there's a lot of companies making protein shakes. Sometimes the gas station protein shakes are more like meal replacement shakes or weight gain shakes or they're obviously trying to serve the general public so they're more concerned with flavor necessarily than nutrition. So just make sure you don't get a protein shake with 30 grams of sugar in it. Number four, learn how to order at restaurants. Navigating restaurants can be difficult too. There's tons of hidden calories uh, all over restaurant food. So if you're, uh, if you're out and you don't have your meals, you don't have a, uh, a clean uh, snack that you've hidden in your car or had for an emergency, or maybe you're, it's a social setting you weren't expecting, you got a last minute invite that you don't want to turn down, um, it's very good to you know live a balanced life unless you're in a like a contest situation I recommend don't eat t in your car with the Tupperware you have a social lunch uh, in a pre-contest mode I might suggest the car eating but if uh, learning how to order at restaurants is really important the one of the biggest 
uh, pitfalls you can find is if you're ordering a steak or something, order it without butter. Sometimes you wonder why is the steak so good? It's because they melt butter all over it. You can also ask them to cook things with no oil. Ask for the rice steamed. Um, ask for the sauce on the side. Sauces are one of the biggest sources of hidden calories you can imagine. If you look up the dish that you often order at one of your favorite restaurants with or without sauce, sometimes it's 300, 400 calorie difference. So learn the tricks of the trade, know what you're eating, start to look up in advance and just learn and you'll start to see some common places you can avoid calories at restaurants. Number five, set a timer. Now for some of you this doesn't really apply. I'm one of those people because either because I've been doing it so long or just because my metabolism is fast but every two to three hours my timer is right here reminding me that it's time to eat. For those of you that have trouble eating or just don't like to eat or maybe this is new to you and you're not used to eating often, um, set a timer when it's meal time. That way it doesn't become Let's say you, you have a diet plan with five or six meals in it, it's seven o'clock at night and you're on meal three, I'm wondering should I cram all this food in before I go to bed, do I need to wake up? So if you're one of those people that doesn't remember to eat, set a timer and make it happen.